Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to Get Jacked here on Ark Survival Evolved. Now, the update was just released with the giant beavers and the handcuffs and all that kind of fun stuff. So we're going to go out and we're going to tame up a giant beaver. Now, I think I've got a couple of terror bird eggs because we got our female terror bird. So I think the uh, kibble for this is actually going to be able to be made now. So I'm grabbing all of our vegetables. Let's grab some narcotics too for our beaver tame. Might as well grab regular narco berries before we use our narcotics. Let's just grab these. We've got a whole bunch of them. Alright, so we're going to go out. We're going to find one of these beavers. They're out in the swamp areas. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think they actually take the terror bird kibble, but they actually take Galliemus kibble. So we don't have any of that. So let's just go out and we'll find one of these and we'll see how the tame goes for them. Alright, so I found one wandering around. Oh, watch out, Apollo. I'm pretty sure he's on a passive, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, but here he is. He's only level 12 male, so... Oh, jeez. Bit of lag. What is this? Okay. That was a really big lag spike. Um, did that hit? No, that must have missed him. Yep, it hit the ground right there. Alright, so, let's see here. He's only level 12, so it should, shouldn't take uh, too much. Hopefully, I don't know, it could be a... Oh, he's already running away? Seriously? Come on, dude. Uh, hopefully we can knock him out before he falls... Uh, is he gonna go to sleep in the water? Oh, wow. He's already knocked out. That's all it took. Okay, well, let's che check and see if he has oxygen. I think our bird will be safe for now. Okay, he doesn't have an oxygen meter, so he's not uh, gonna drown over here. Awesome. So, we've got this guy down. Let's kind of see his topor is dropping kind of quickly. Here's the terror bird kibble. I don't think he's going to eat it. Okay, so let's put this. I'm not sure if it's meat or if it's berries. I, it would make sense that it would be meat because I think they live off fish, but I'm not sure. So, we've got this going. I don't know. I think it'll take a while, probably, especially if we have to use just normal berries and can't use prime meat or something like that. It's really sad that it wasn't terror bird kibble. I was really I was really banking on that one. Yeah, he's not eating that. Everything going okay over there. All right, so I found them just kind of wandering around around in the swamp over here. They're kind of easy to miss because uh, they kind of blend in with the water and the grass and all that kind of stuff. So definitely keep your eye open for them. Okay. And we'll have to save up some galley. We'll have to tame up some more galleemus and uh, actually be able to get some kibble for one of those for a big female to match this guy. So it does take that kibble, and now he is going to take a while here because look at that. He did just eat a berry, but holy crap. He's only level 12, and that did nothing. His, uh, his topor is going down, so we're definitely going to need to use narcotics, but not a crazy amount. It's not going down like super fast, especially not compared to the recent uh, editions of dinosaurs, but... All right, we'll see how long this is going to take. We'll narc him up a little bit. He has a really low topor, um, but his weight is actually at 300 there, so that's pretty good. Okay, so we should probably just grab us up a couple more berries just to be safe. I'm going to grab a couple kinds and see if he, he prefers to eat one of these over the others. And just kind of to waste time so that we can put a little bit of... Um, I'll, I'll be able to show you kind of how far his taming progress is going to go over a little bit of time. Oh gosh. We've got... Oh jeez. Let's clear these guys out. Okay, this will give us a bit of time in between the tame. Is he going to get hit by any of this? I don't know. I hope not. I don't think he's close enough to have to worry about it. Oh no. Now he made the frog mad at us. Really? You didn't You didn't have to do this, man. Why? Why do you have to do this? Okay, well, geez. This is going to be really fun. We just get to circle around and try and kill this frog now. But hopefully by then he'll have eaten a few times and we'll be able to see kind of how long this tame is going to take because it seems like it's going to take forever. And the swamp is not a fun place to have to sit in and watch a tame. I did try using the grappling hook on him. Now you cannot drag them with the grappling hook. They look small enough. You can drag a scorpion, but you can't drag these guys. Um, they actually pull you along, so you can't actually pick them up on a PvE server and bring them to wherever, wherever you want. Uh, so I was really sad to find out that fact. So let's see here. 
and that's as far as he's gone. He's probably only eaten, what, one more? Yeah. All right, so it seems like this is going to take quite a bit of time. Uh, so we'll cut here, and we'll be back in a bit uh, when we've kind of seen how this is going to go. I don't think he's going to... I don't think the berry is going to really make too, too much of a difference in this situation. All right, so I've been taming him for quite a while, and he's about... Where is he at? Maybe about halfway or so. And look at how cool he's not even halfway. But it is taking quite a bit of time, so definitely expect to be out here for a quick uh, a bit because uh, our taming rate is 2.5 percent. So it is this is uh, kind of boosted a little bit. And remember, this guy's only a level 12, so that kind of stinks. Um, his weight is pretty good. You can suffice, uh, or you can just get by right with uh, narco berries because. He doesn't have too high of a topor where the, the other ones are really going to matter. Also, you're not going to really have to worry about using darts on him because the the bow was definitely enough for this guy. But as you can see, it is gonna, it's mostly just going to be the time of finding one and waiting for it. But at least this is a really cool area. There's just fog and mist coming out of the swamp over here. It's really cool. But I think we're going to be... Uh, hanging out around here for a while. I've been have to, having to fend off snakes and raptors and that kind of stuff, but I think it's going to be worth it for this tame. Now, I was be able to read up on some stuff for a while while I'm sitting here waiting, and uh, you are able to use... Oh, I don't know about you. Don't come over here. I guess he's out of range, though. Now, you are able to use the saddle as a smithy. So once you've got the saddle on this bad boy, you'll actually be able to bring them out and use them as kind of a mobile smithy, which is kind of cool because they just made it with the armor repairs there. So we'll be right back. All right, so we're back at base. I just finished up taming them up. It took quite a bit of time, but hey, it was really worth it because I've got the saddle going here. Oh, we've got some lag. Okay, so the saddle does take quite a few resources. Uh, it does take a lot of cementing paste and all that kind of stuff. So you gotta stock up a little bit for these guys. But let's go out here. Sorry about it being dark. I'm just really excited to get them out. Um, so you, if you just access his inventory, you can actually go in here and access any of the things you would normally be able to do at a bench, which is awesome. All the dinosaurs or... Uh, this guy's a mammal, but all the uh, new introductions are getting special benefits and stuff like that, which is really nice. So we're going to take him out. We're going to test him out on a tree over here, see how much wood he gathers, because he should be able to gather a ton of that. Oh, yeah, look at that, 54 wood. Um, but it is 2.5 gather rate as well, so that is boosted a little bit. But still, for a level 12 guy just in one hit, now look at this. This is the big thing. If you look at the weight of this wood in my inventory, see there, it actually is reduced inside of him. So it actually reduces stone and wood. It reduces the stone by the, the uh, what, half there, and then the wood actually is reduced by a fifth. So it's actually super useful for gathering all types of resources, which is awesome. But that's pretty much all I've got for you today. If you like the video, please hit that thumbs up or subscribe to the channel for more content. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day, and we'll catch you next time.